Hi, I'm Luke. I use he, him pronouns. I'm Devin. I also use he, him pronouns. And uh, we'd normally host the podcast Multiversal Q slash... Exiled. Slash Ultiversal Q. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was looking for, Devin. And uh, we are here because we've been, I, I, I don't remember what the whole setup thing for this was. Uh, Me neither. Like, monitors and anti-monitors and do you know about the anti-monitor, Devin? He's going to be in the new crossover mm-hmm. thing. Well, do you know what the monitor is? He monitors things. Well, it's a race of mon- of people who monitor things. They're like the Watchers, except different. Are they as cool? There's a lot more of them in each universe, I think, and they keep 52 worlds in a giant uh, orrery called the Orrery of Worlds. I'm looking at their picture. They don't look as cool, though. <laughs> No, I mean, there's some good ones. There's also Mandrak, the Dark Monitor, who's different than the Anti-Monitor. Mandrak is a vampire who eats hope, and Superman defeats him by singing a song oh, that's through good. a wishing machine. Yeah. But they just kind of look like normal dudes. They don't have that fun Uatu big-ass head. No, and then Anti-Monitor just looks like a bad Iron Man villain. But, uh, yeah, we are here covering the 90s Flash. Specifically from 1990 to 1991. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he does look like a bit. Wait, no, actually, I like this one picture of, of Anti-Monitor. He looks like, uh, what's his name? Man Ray. Oh, okay. I mean, you want to link me that picture? Let me let's link Luke that picture. Link Luke that picture. Link Luke of that picture. Link Luke of that picture. I'm looking at my phone, so it's going to be sent to you via Facebook. Yeah, yeah. No, I oh, got okay, Facebook cool. up on my laptop. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. No, he looks like Man Ray. Yeah, that is the day the universe dies. But, uh, yeah, yeah, Flash TV show, Flash TV show. It's the 90s Flash TV show. And we do have a sort of outline that we're supposed to follow, but we can, I think, also just say, screw that, because we're wild boys, Devin. There's an outline? Yeah, it was sent on the email. Shit. I know. Well, it says... Uh, name, pronouns, any projects, podcasts, or anything you do, and anything to help the listener know a little bit about who you are. Let's send Devin. I'm the short email. one. Devin's the. I'm the short one. Devin's the tall one. Truth. Up oh, there, it's episode guides. Uh, based on Looney Tunes rules, that means that I'm the pushy one, but Devin is the one that will kill the rabbit, and so I have to put him out of his misery. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, love, uh, love the thing. So, yeah, this Flash uh, TV show, uh, we watched the 93 minute pilot, which I'm glad I watched it without ads on the DC Universe app. Same. Uh, basically, John Wesley Ship, who plays Barry Allen, the Flash is a, like, crime forensic Scientologist. No, not not Scientologist. What's the word? Forensic scientist? Yeah. Yeah. God, a forensic Scientologist. Can you imagine? There's uh, a lot of thetans here on the ground. <laughs> it looks like, once again, it was Gantu. No, Gantu is the shark man from Lilo and Stitch. Yes, god damn it, Luke. <laughs> you know, we're recording late tonight. Uh, so you you get all this quality content. Someone has been crushed and bludgeoned in the head with the weird cans that we use to measure. 
Looks like teens are at it again, <laughs> Lou. Cancel the prom. <laughs> <laughs> did you like that I one? I did. Uh, but yeah. So because nobody has heard of forensic science before, uh, everyone's like, oh, yeah, you suck. Especially compared to your brother, Jay Allen, who is the uh, head of the Gotham, who is the head of the Central City Police Department. With a nice nod to Jay Garrick. Yeah, it, it's weird because he also looks like 20 years older because he has that white oh, hair. Oh, 100%. I thought it was like the dad or something at first. Or like the dad's friend who was a secondary father figure because his dad is a piece of shit. Dad is a piece of shit. Uh, you would not have uh, Barry trying <laughs> to get his dad out of prison nope. if this was... <laughs> no. He's he would have, he would have worked and planted more evidence to make sure Dad stayed away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, his brother has was in a lot of things, but nothing super big. Uh, the actor who played his brother, yeah, uh, he was in Hunter. <gasps> Maybe it's Hunter. And, uh, he was Mule Mulowski slash. Police Sergeant Harry Trainer slash Police Detective Glil Gaskell. Nice. Are, were you actually excited about me mentioning Hunter? Well, all I think about it. Well, no, because I don't actually have any idea what TV's Hunter is about. All I know it from is when uh, Awesome Max would get excited in Frisky Dingo because he loved TV's Hunter. Uh Okay. Uh, but yeah, so let's talk about the character that we didn't get to see that I was sad because I was looking for it when I saw his picture in one of the little, uh, future episodes on the app. Dick Miller is in at least a number of episodes as a, uh, police detective as well. Oh, I thought you were going to say Mark Hamill as the well, but everyone knows Mark Hamill was in the show. If you like know anything about like flash, cause he was also in the. New Flash 2 is the trickster. Well, yeah, and so was Amanda Pays, who plays uh, Christina Tina McGee. I wouldn't know. Uh, I only yeah. watched, like, the first season and a half. Oh, and uh, Alex Desaire, who was Julio Mendez. But do you also know who else Alex Desaire played? No, who? Uh, he was Nick Fury in Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Ah, I did enjoy that show. Yeah, he's been on a lot of things, but I, like they brought back a, a good number of the cast members onto the show. Anyways, uh, John Wesley Ship is Barry Allen, who's a forensic scientist, and currently the town, which you know how there was that period after Nolan's Batman where all the superhero movies and shows were very influenced by it? Nolan 100%. Batman. This is that, but if you had everything inspired by Tim oh, Burton, Batman instead. First off, let's talk about that Danny Elfman 90s soundtrack. It's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm into this. <laughs> <laughs> well, and even the way that the city is shot. And Yo, lit. Very much so. <laughs> yeah, it is wild because it's like oh hey there's a town here and they are all threatened by a motorcycle gang that the police are unable to stop which is weird uh and they end up that's raiding total a 90s, that's detail. total 90s villains right there though yeah yeah i mean it's kind of great but it's also so incredibly dated. oh i agree here's the thing though i will say i i think them being influenced by Burton works way better than Nolan influencing everything. Oh, yeah. Burton's, Burton's I mean, had that style, but it didn't Burton, go too far. And it can yeah, work with Burton, every character more or less. Yeah, like, Burton has fun with it, and I think you need that for the core of the DC yeah. universe. Like, even... Because, I mean, if you get down to it, Batman is a dude dressing up in capes to avenge his mm -hmm. parents because he was inspired by Zorro. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Uh, yeah, so after having a awful dinner with his family, uh, Barry's like, oh, well, me and my girlfriend, who's a 3D graphic artist or a digital artist, I forget how they 
something like that. Like it's weird. Very it's early like 90s somebody... uh it was like computer illustration. Yeah. Uh Paula Marshall is the uh, actress who plays Iris West and who uh, apparently this is the only episode she is in. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, oh, she was that's subsequent. A, that's a choice. I mean, she is awful. She is awful. Oh, I agree. But just for having such like a big character, such as like Iris West, mm-hmm. just to the whole Flash mythos. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She doesn't want to accept Barry's proposal to her because she isn't ready to settle down and have a family and. Uh, so Barry's like, oh, well, I guess I'm going to go and work and try and solve all of these crimes. Yeah. And while he's working at the lab with his partner, Julio Menendez, Menendez, uh, lightning strikes chemicals that get poured on him and, uh, he passes out and then wakes up in the hospital where he was taken. Pretty much. That was an exciting time. <laughs> It was. It was. Also, we see that uh, the leader of this motorcycle gang, who I I totally blanked on his name again. Oh, motorcycle gang. Uh, Pike. Yeah, Pike. Nicholas Pike, played by Michael Nader, who was Dimitri Merrick in All My Children, and also was on Dynasty and. Uh. Ah, uh, he had a drug problem until... Oh, nope, nope, he continued to have a drug problem. Classic Nader. <laughs> Classic Nader. Um, yeah, he is the leader of the Dark Riders, different than Apocalypse's Dark Riders. Uh, he uh, has a vendetta against the police, and so he's been able to organize all of these 90s-ass motorcycle punks to uh follow him and i mean it's apparently working out really well even though even though like one of the guys wants to leave with his girl but it turns out that she doesn't love him she just loves pike and so she betrays him and they uh it's not draw and quarter. What's the thing where you get tied up and Uh, the horses run and you die that way it's totally what it looked like was gonna happen okay well, I thought drawn quarter was where you had two run in the opposite direction. Yeah, but that's the horses. Well, well, usually, well, usually it's, uh, okay, it's four okay. directions because you get quartered. Yeah, but no, I thought it, there was a separate thing where you just have a single horse or car drag you. Anyways, uh, yeah, he gets murdered with a motorcycle, which seems like a I waste agree. of a good motorcycle. Yeah, so we got our bad guy Pike. And Barry gets up and he's like, oh, things are kind of weird. Like he tries to, uh, what is the first thing that happens? Oh, he's running with his dog. Also classic 90s. His dog. The great dog psych supporting character. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That dog that learned Hell like yeah. five tricks. Yeah, like his dog gets distracted by kids having a baseball game and he tries to run and grab his dog and then he runs too fast and he falls into some bushes and then like later on uh, he, he gets a flat. When does he crash his car? He doesn't crash the car, he gets a flat. Or... That's right, he because gets a flat. Because he's trying to go to, a, to Iris's uh, art gallery opening. Show. Yeah, and when he gets, uh, and so he tries to go and catch the bus, but the bus leaves without him, and then he runs too fast, and he finds himself at the beach, which is 30 miles away. And then he calls Iris, and is like, hey, I don't know what happened. I tried to get on a bus, and then I found myself at the beach, and Iris is like, Barry, you're such an asshole. And it's like, Iris, your boyfriend apparently had a fugue state, or got knocked out, and woke up after getting struck by lightning. You should kind of be concerned about She's it. She's the worst. She is. I hope her graphic design gets her a good job. Definitely. Uh, but yeah, 
So all the weird stuff is happening, and he gets reached out to by Christina McGee, a scientist at Star Labs who doesn't work with anybody else at Star Labs because she doesn't trust them because her husband uh, previously developed superpowers and the government tried to figure out what they were and killed him. Yeah. Yeah, so she's like, oh, hey, Barry, let's go and figure out what you can do. So she has him eat, like, a bunch of pizzas and run around a field and eventually makes a big ru- red well, Plus, she had to go to the treadmill where I think he, like, clocked in at, like, 300-plus miles an hour. Machine Before broke. the treadmill broke. Yep. So she offers to help because Barry's having weird problems, like low blood sugar because that's apparently how they're going to try and make challenges for the flash it's literally his body is just really you know shitty. what though that makes sense it does but it also feels weird like that's what you have to do when your bad guy is a motorcycle game well, i agree but we're just thinking back to like every episode of justice league there was always some booby trap that Flash runs into because he's two heads strong and then is knocked out for the entire fight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so as he's working on developing the powers, his brother Jay becomes leader of the Gotham City or of the Central City Motorcycle Patrol Division that is specifically going to try and stop the Dark Riders and. Uh, girl leader of the uh or main girl of the dark riders gets uh is used in a trap the same trap that jay Jay used to bust his ex-partner yep it's then bam jerry dies or jay dies yep yeah jay dies like super easy Nope. He was not prepared. And uh, so Barry's like, oh, I'm so upset. I guess I'm going to use this big, thick red suit. And this is mm-hmm. a thick flash. Like, this is a great meaty flash. John, John Wesley ship's buff we as here. fuck, yo. Huh? Yeah, this is not a, uh, like, thin runner's body. This is like Bram Stoker's Dracula blood armor flash. Yep, you just keep forcing that reference, Luke. <laughs> you know, I think it's apt. It's apt, Devin. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, John Wesley Ship apparently has a giant dick in his Definitely. flash suit. Like one of those night guard flashlights. Uh, anyways. So we find out that uh, Pike was Jay's former partner who was accused of corruption and then he got caught and got his face messed up and now he wants revenge which he kind of got but he also is now going to take over Central City and he figures if they can take over the city there's not going to be anything more than like a police presence that they were able to stop like it's a very unthought out plan Oh, very much so. It's like at some point in time, the National Guard will come in. <laughs> and we'll just straight up yeah, shoot you. Yeah. Off. Which is fair. Is fair. It's also... It, Nicholas Pike is not a character from the comics. It's weird that they were like, oh yeah, this is going to be the person who we lead everything mm-hmm. off with. I I don't get why they made to that make him the first film. Yeah, because then you get the dramatic moment of him losing his brother. Yeah, but you could have made it like any other Flash villain who kills. I suppose his brother. It it feels sort of like oh we have this plot. For a generic superhero, and 
I guess we'll use the Flash. I don't know. Everyone's pa- like family member gets killed off by a generic character, though. <laughs> Spider Man. Yeah, but I mean, Batman. Technically, General Zod was generic on Krypton at the time that he blew the planet up. <laughs> well, or or Brainiac Brainiac blew, blew it up. up. Whatever. But it 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 depends on the uh, reason. But uh, like, it's a weird thing because motorcycle gang we don't really partially because it was a made for tv thing we don't get a lot of scenes of just flash running up to people as they're on motorcycles and knocking them out which would have been great but it would have also been far beyond what they could do in a tv show i was reading they spent six mil on this pilot though which for 90s money i mean that's a lot oh yeah like the uh, four su- flash suits that they had alone were mm-hmm. like a uh, hundred thousand bucks. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Pike is like, oh well, uh, or, yeah. So Flash in a rage stops some of his people. He gets stabbed in the leg, and so after the police check in on him and are like oh what are you doing out here and barry's just like oh you know trying to live up to my brother's legacy uh tina picks him up and drives him back and it looks like he also has super fast healing and he wants to stop the dark riders and she's like no because then the police will get you he's like i don't care my brother i need to avenge him it's all right Plus, Iris is there and, just uh, like, yo, Pike you hooking up with the new girl now? Mm, mm, mm. Now, now I want to marry you. Let's Why bang, don't you want to marry then me? bam, Flash becomes a two-pump chump. Except that it's actually just a TV show that they're watching where a guy went and got knocked out quickly in a wrestling match. And then she's like, hey, I want Thai food. And Barry's like, oh, yeah, I can get that. And then he runs and gets back too fast. And she's like, where did he get this Thai food? And he's like, I went to the Thai restaurant. And she's like, I don't believe you. And Barry's like, yeah, but it's literally hot, fresh Thai food. So what are you doing? I agree. It's very weird. At the same time, all I'm learning from watching, I was like, dang, if you had those powers, you could just go fuck off and do whatever you want for like 30 minutes and then go get the Thai food. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. do some Pokemon Go. So Pokemon Go would kind of be awful, because if you run too fast, then it would be like, are you in a car exactly. right now? And you couldn't really catch Pokemon unless you mm-hmm. got into a good central area. So actually, Pokemon Go would be the worst. Mm-hmm. So I guess you just need to run everywhere with a broadsword and then, like, chop down mailboxes and street signs because that'd be kind of fun nobody could stop you no not at all yeah uh they also captured the uh girlfriend of uh pike and they're like oh we can't get anything out of her and so barry comes in and is like hey i heard all these people talking crazy because they saw a demon in red well, I know that fucking demon, and if you don't tell me what's going to go on, I will attack you. And she doesn't give up anything, but he uses his forensic science to figure out where their base is. And when he gets there, there's only two people, so he does pranks on them and beats Which them up. And great. then finds out that, oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, he finds out that, oh, Pike is going to break everybody out of prison and then give them guns. Very Which bad. is bad. So uh, Flash goes to the prison and there's a standoff with the police because there's so many machine guns that Pike gave everybody. So Barry just steals them and then he starts to get low on blood sugar before he can get to Pike. And he's like, oh, no, I guess this is going to be an even fight to build drama. Mm, mm, mm. And then he catches Pike. And that's it. Apparently Pike comes back. It, yeah. And uh, Tina decides that she's going to continue working with him. Because at first Barry was like, I don't want these powers. And then he's like, I need to use these powers. I can go get Thai food really quickly now. 
Uh huh. With my new almost girlfriend, who's yeah. a widow. Yeah, it's it is a weird, weird show. Let's talk about that running I, virtu- uh, visual effects, though. Loved it. Mm-hmm. It looked like the Weird Al music video for uh, Gump when Forrest is running. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, and the uh, the logo for the show looks pretty mm-hmm. much like Flash Gordon. It's. It's a weird show. I got to the end of it and was like, you know, would I want to watch another episode of it? Oh, see, so I'm the opposite. Not. I'm like, yeah, but like we'll watch more of this. Also, did you think that he was going to yeah, eat Pike? But- That's what I was waiting for. When, <laughs> what's like when he and Pike's like, oh no, my blood sugar's low. <laughs> it's like I need to eat something. It's like oh, maybe he'll eat Pike for energy. <laughs> That was exciting. Wow. I was just like, yeah, cannibalism flash. <laughs> he can't stop you if you're moving too fast. Okay. Uh, yeah, that went to a mm-hmm. weird cannibalism blaze, Devin. It's what the viewers mm-hmm. crave. Yeah. I mean, part of it was also, oh, I could go and watch The <gasps> Simpsons on Disney+. Plus. It's true. Or that Jeff Goldblum show. And so I went and watched. Which is okay. Yeah, but Jeff Goldblum now has all the allegations. He's allegations coming out against, coming him. Out against him? Since when? Yeah. They've been coming out for a month and it's been kept like relatively low, but there's basically a bunch of women who said that Jeff Goldblum oh, did a lot of inappropriate stuff with them. And then, yeah, nobody really listened to them because it's Jeff Goldblum, who people saw as one of the last, like, good actors. Good in in terms of not doing awful stuff. Who doesn't do awful stuff, though? John Wesley Shipp. John Wesley Shipp. John Wesley Shipp. nicest human being. Yeah, because you got to go and meet John Wesley Shipp This past weekend from when we recorded this, yes. It was not to mm-hmm. to have anything to do with the Flash because who the hell cares? It is to talk with meet him about his most prolific of all works, which is the hit 1990s television program Dawson's Creek, in which he plays the best character of the entire show, Mitch, Dawson's father, who we sadly lose in season five in the infamous episode where he dies by being hit by a truck as he is trying to pick up his ice cream cone from <laughs> from the passenger seat floor. <laughs> R.I.P. R. Mitch. Mitch. Apparently it was because there was R. not R. enough Mitch. good storylines for the adult characters. And Mitch wanted out. But all the writers apparently mm. regret killing him off in that way because that was a fucking stupid way to get rid of a character. <laughs> but it's oh, also it very really much is. big mood. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Parts of it were confusing because at the same time, I'm sorry, I don't know what the state of your car is. If ice cream hit your passenger seat floor, are you still going to eat it? The answer is no, I'm not. There's there's <laughs> boots on there. There's no, but you can try and clean While it you're up. driving, you're going to do that? I mean, maybe try and mm. stop it from spreading more? Mm. I, it depends on where I am mentally. Oh, that's fair. He was mad at his son Dawson I mean, because Dawson was going to drop out of film school to get back with Joey. Which was a mistake. She oof. was the worst. Dawson can do better. Uh-huh. I... I I'm glad Barry I didn't agree. allow his son to do that. Uh, so, yeah. That's our Did John Wesley ship moment. No, Devin's John Wesley That the moment. creators and writers of Freaks and Geeks wrote the first season of Dawson's Creek, which is why the first season is by far better than all the other ones. Yes, well, they did. No. Which you can tell with the, hmm. the quality of the writing. Also, Mitch is, a, is the holiest of characters because he gets cheated on by his bitch of a wife, Gail. 
And then Dawson is mad at Mitch because Mitch moves out of the house and acts like he's the bad guy when Mitch did nothing wrong. He was also going to create a fantastic uh, seafood restaurant. It was very nautically themed, and I was very into it. (laughs) He had drawings. (laughs) Also, I'm positive no. that it's a tie-in to the uh, Flash show and that this was actually a Flash villain who was driving the truck that killed Mitch. <laughs> Coming out for revenge. Fair. Yep. Fair. Uh, so, uh, favorite moments of the show. I liked when it was like, oh, we're going to look at your muscles, and then it was a 1990s ass computer, and it's like, this is a muscle, and it's just mm-hmm. rectangles. Uh, the I mean, honestly, the writing animation is probably just the best. We're just kind of like him, like him just like looking uh, around, the, looking confused as he's running. Uh, or the scenes where Barry Barry talks to his dog and is like, "Hey, you want to go for a run?" And the dog just knows it is trained to pull the cord on the door yes. to shut the door and hide. Or that really weird scene where Barry is like, oh, I'm going to try and clean my apartment, yeah. and then it just gets or worse. Or that phenomenal scene where he's talking he to the cops fast. when he's like out, right after he's like busting uh, the one woman. He's like, oh, my dog escaped. Oh, and bit me on the leg. Hey, is that your dog upstairs? Oh, he must have come home. <laughs> and then as he goes inside, they start, <laughs> the two cops get mad at each other because they both think the other one ate all the donuts, when in fact, a berry ate them. <laughs> <laughs> Berry's high as hell. Oh. That was a great moment. Anyways. Uh, if you have the DC Universe app or other ways to watch the show, uh, yeah, I mean, you can do worse. There's much worse. Also, the DC thing I was surprised about there. the most, especially just for like mm-hmm. how they cast now, with some exceptions, just like Dave, they actually cast like someone to play the Fat Flash who's already like in their mid 30s. Mm hmm. Oh, oh! I also like the scene where Flash had eaten six pizzas, and the pizza guy comes out and is like, "Hey, you want some more pizzas?" Yeah. And the Flash is like, "No." Uh yeah. So that's the Flash. Whoa! Who's apparently coming back in the and, big crossover special? Yeah. Well, and I mean, John Wesley Ship has yeah. played Jay Garrick. Yeah, on the show, as well as yes. Flash's dad. But apparently in the new crossover, he will be actually mm-hmm. 90s Flash Barry Allen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. More power. More power to him. And apparently there's a so, scene which, damn, Devin, where can- I don't know if it's already aired. I don't think it's aired. I think it's going to be like in the special or maybe it did air and I don't know. Because he was talking about how it was a really weird scene to shoot because he was being more of like one of the more modern Flash characters. But it takes place in the 90s, so he's mm-hmm. supposed to kind of act like his 90s Flash character. But then to emphasize that it's the 90s, the TV is on. And on the TV, Dawson's Creek. He was like, yeah, that was a weird <laughs> acting scene. <laughs> Because like all my characters were like in one scene, and I didn't like it. <laughs> it was really hard to act against. <laughs> it is fantastic. Uh, so Devin, uh, you can find me online find at Devin Center Edo at VTT, and you can also hear me co-hosting Multiversal Q with our game with our my part. <laughs> We have the co-host of this episode, Luke, and we also do the Exiled podcast, which just wrapped up or is about to wrap up, depending on when this episode is going up. It's fun. There'll be annuals. You can still hear more. And Luke, where can people find you? You can find me on Twitter at at Coltrick. That's K-O-L-T-R-E-G. I also run the RPG Pals Club podcast at RPGPals.club, which is a 5E D&D podcast. Uh, Devin and I, like you mentioned, do Multiversal Q slash Ultiversal Q, where we're going through all of the Ultimate Universe bit by bit. And, uh, yeah, 
we're we're getting to some yeah. rough parts. And uh, yeah, I don't have anything officially announced; just rumors in the rumor mill. But that's where you can find us. Yeah. Ha 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 ha! Will Smith laugh. Ha 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 ha. Yep, that's the flash. Nice. Catch you on the flip mode. Peace.